How's it going, everybody? I'm Pastor Brian, one of the pastors here at the church. Hope to find everybody doing well today. And today we're going to talk about being truthful in our relationships and how important that is. Recently, um, I took care of a patient in the emergency room that was definitely impaired. She was belligerent. She was angry. The police were there. Hospital staff was there. Security was there. And she was impaired by probably more than one substance and just her heart rate was really fast and we were just kind of worried about her safety and just all this other stuff going on. So the doctor uh, wanted her, us to give her some medication. So I came in with the medication just to kind of help with her heart rate and kind of help chill out, chill out, chill her out and chill out the situation. And I come in and she looks at me and she goes, why do I have to take that? What's that for? And I could have gone multiple different directions with her and I, but I decided to tell her the truth. I just looked at her and calmly said, you know, you obviously got alcohol on board. Your heart's beating really fast. We're worried that you have other things in your system than just alcohol. And that's why we want to give you this medicine. And she paused and she looked at me and she goes, that's fair. And calmly laid back in bed and let me give her the medicine. And the other people that were there were shocked that I was able to not only get her to calm down, but also to get her to cooperate with what, what the doctor wanted to do. And to be totally honest, if I had a mic in that moment, I would have dropped it. But it really came down to me compassionately telling her the truth that I think that got her to cooperate. And that kind of underlies the importance of the truth and being truthful in all our relationships, whether it's somebody that I just met, like this young lady, or whether it's some of my, with my spouse, or with my friends, or with people in leadership over me, is so important to be truthful. Now, as followers of Christ, we, all, we know like the Ten Commandments, and thou shalt not lie, or as it says in Exodus 2016, you shall not bear false, false witness against your neighbor. And in the New Testament, Paul talks about Lying in Colossians 3, 9, he says, Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self. Now, as followers of Jesus, like, we don't want to be our old selves. Like, I don't want to be who I was before I knew Jesus. I was very self-serving. I was very angry. I was very judgmental. I was very bitter. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I would not withhold the truth or lie in order to save face or maintain my pride or because I didn't care about the situation. But as followers of Jesus, we want to be closer to Jesus every day. We want to be better than we were yesterday. And the thing is, we can break this commandment in a lot of different ways other than blatant lies. Blatant lies as in, you know, somebody thought asked why we didn't call them to go hang out or get together. And we could say, oh, like, I called you, but you didn't answer. Or I emailed you, but it went to the spam box. Or... I text you, didn't, didn't you get it? You know, we can say, you know, we were go, went to the store to get something and we forgot some, to get something for somebody that they wanted and we say, and they asked about it and we're like, oh, no, they didn't, they were out, I'm sorry. Instead of just being like, I'm totally forgot, I'm so sorry. And blatant lies, and there's layers, these are kind of maybe silly, kind of lighter examples. But blatant lying will eventually catch up with us, as we've all probably experienced, either with ourselves or with other people. The lies build and build and build, and there's layers and layers and layers, and eventually we get found out, because we ourselves, as we're lying, can't keep up with all these untruths that we've given. And it's most definitely damaging to relationships. But there's, o there's other ways that we can be less than truthful in our relationships that is also damaging. There's flattery. We have to be careful with flattery because in a lot of ways flattery can be manipulation with a smile. And all, there's excuse making. You know sometimes we're confronted with something or asked about something and I know I'm super guilty of this. We're all blame my work schedule or the time or the kids or I got this going on instead of just being like you know that whatever this thing whatever that thing whatever this is like is less important than it should be. I'm sorry, I'll get on it. And then actually get, get on and do whatever you gotta do with it. Another thing we, should, we need to do in order to be truthful is to tell the truth 
before we make excuses. I know I'm guilty of this when I get asked about something. Often I'll be like, oh, my work schedule or time or this happened or that happened or I got this going on. Instead of just being like, you know what, whatever this thing is that you're talking to me about, like, it's not as important as it should be and I'll get on it. And then actually get on it and start working on it. And then another way we can be untruthful with people that's damaging to relationships is repeating something about someone else without verifying, also known as gossip. And not only is that a sin for us to be repeating things about somebody else, that's m without verifying, and then we shouldn't even be repeating it anyway, but it also puts the people we tell in a position where they're either being judgmental against the person you're talking about or they're repeating it as well. And we're already accountable to our own sins. I don't want to be accountable to tempting somebody else to sin as well. And then also, there's also passive aggressiveness. There's just kind of throwing in some jabs or saying something under the radar. And come on, like most of us aren't that smart to be able to say something passive aggressive and the other person to really even know what we're talking about. All they'll know is we're throwing a jab at them or we're not being nice, or we're being rude to them. And it causes them confusion. It ca make, maybe make them hurt them or irritate them. And that's not good for our relationship. That's not good for our relationships either. So what is the answer for our desire or temptation to be less than truthful in our relationships? Matthew 5.3 talks about being poor in spirit, which means we recognize we're nothing without the presence of God. And when we continually recognize this and the need, the need to be untruthful, to save face, to make excuses, to gossip or be passive aggressive, we'll get smaller and smaller in our lives. Being poor in spirit will help us turn us away from ourselves and towards Jesus and towards other people so we can live blessed lives and ble have blessed relationships. All right. Praise the Lord. Love you guys.